What is up YouTube, NasRox here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get iPhone 10 gestures on any iPhone 6s and above running iOS 12 through 12.1.2. So if you want to get iPhone 10 features on your device, open up Safari, navigate to iOS emulator spot, hit the menu tab, and go into the customize iOS section. I'll put the link down below in the description. Once you get there, scroll down a bit, tap the first icon, scroll down again and tap the icon one more time. Hit install, back out and wait for it to finish. Now that it's done, go into the settings, general, scroll down to device management, select this profile and tap trust twice. Back out and now you can open up the application. As you can see it loaded up and it's working perfectly fine, so once you're ready, tap the root me button and give it some time to do its thing. It may take a couple tries but it worked the first time for me, so give it about a minute and if your device reboots, open up the app again and run it one more time. Now that it's done, you can open up the file manager, navigate all the way back, go into var, then containers, Select shared and go into system group. Here you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure you select the system.group.apple mobile container file. You'll know it's the one once you're in it by checking the top. Now let's go into library, caches and tap and hold on this file. Then tap copy it. Once you have it copied, tap on the home button at the bottom. Go into documents and paste the file. Let's head on over to the computer, connect your device and open up iTunes. Select your iPhone, then file sharing and tap on the rootkit application. Drag and drop the file you pasted into documents onto your desktop. Now I highly recommend you make a copy of this file and place it somewhere safe just in case you want to revert back. So you're going to need a plist editor whether you're using a Mac or a Windows PC. I'm using Xcode on my Mac and we're going to open and edit the file. Tap on the drop down, scroll down and tap on this drop down, scroll down again and in here you'll see a section named artwork device subtype. Now this iPhone 7 has a number 569, whatever number you have, we're going to change it to 2436. So this is what's going to allow the iPhone 10 gestures to work on your device. Make sure you save the file before you close the application. Now back on iTunes, tap the add button, select the plist we just edited, tap replace and make sure you tap sync. This will move it from your computer to your device. And now we're almost done. Let's head back to the iPhone, go into documents, tap and hold on the file and make sure you copy it. Now you can navigate all the way back, scroll down to var, scroll up or down to containers, go into shared, system group, scroll down to the same folder, systemgroup.com.apple.mobile, tap on library, go into caches and if there's a file there already, delete it and you could paste the new file. Now you can reboot your device and wait for it to come back on. As you can see the swipe up to unlock is right there. You can bring up the app switcher as well. The only bugs I've seen so far is if you try to bring down the control center it crashes the device and I'm not sure why but the camera icon and the one on the other side on the lock screen isn't working. One easy workaround for the control center is to go into the settings, general, accessibility and turn on assistant touch. Go into customize top level menu and remove all the icons except for one. Tap on it and set it to control center. Drag the AT icon to the top right and that's it. So pretty much the video is done here but if you want to revert back to the original way your device was before you switched it, make sure you enable the rootkit by tapping root me. Head on over to your computer and you'll need to delete the file that we made changes to and remove the number 2 and space from the original file name. Let's open up iTunes, select your device, then file sharing and tap add. Select the original file, tap replace, then we're going to sync it to your device. Once it's done, we're going to copy it from the documents and move it into var, containers, shared, system group and remember to select the com.apple.mobile folder, go into the library, then caches, delete the file and paste the original. Now since the bug makes you respring, try to bring down the control center to apply the changes. And as you can see your device is back to normal. So let me know if you guys need some help down below. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. This is Nas Rocks. Peace.